Yo, what's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to uh, Worlds Collide Wednesdays here at Dreamcatcher Gaming. Located in Northridge, right next to Seasun. So right now we got Soko and KY, and they're rocking the uh, Mewtwo and Yoshi team. Blue team. And uh, we got HLB and Keen on the other side. Red team with uh, Ryu and uh, Mario. Kind of a little odd crew of a uh, match right now. Uh, looks like uh, Blue team is way ahead. Uh, got the stock lead. Uh, that can change really quickly though. Soko dealing with a uh, 130% and uh, still has a stock, but could lose it really quick, like right now. So uh, we almost got even stocks here, but it looks like KY is doing uh, a little tanking with his with his stocks, and it looks like it's benefiting the blue team very well. Let's see if uh, looks like Key's about to die, so uh, this could be curtains for red team very soon. Yeah, I, I think this is good for Red Team. Now, they've gotten stage control and they've, they're pushing everyone off stage, but it looks like Blue Team just regained stage control, got the got the kill on uh, on Key. Now Ryu's out, and now that team combo ends the match, and that was actually pretty good. That was actually really good awareness of the of the trajectory of that back throw. And Blue Team takes it with a pretty, pretty convincing uh, win, but, you know, Game 2 could bring out some something else, you know. People adapt pretty well. And, uh, you know, we're coming from SoCal, we're coming from Northridge, we're coming from the 818, so this is one of the stack places. Uh, we have names like uh, Zenyu tonight, we got Nico coming later right here, uh, we got Jedi, I'm OKO. Uh, you can follow me at OKO underscore SSB on Twitter. Um, yeah, let's get into the next match. Looks like they're going to town and city, unless they move the, the cursor and select a different uh, level. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's funny, uh, I'm looking at Key and all them, and they look, they look like they're just having fun. It's probably like, it feels like, uh, like, like some friendlies to them. You know, they all play each other all the time, uh, and you know, we all haven't seen each other too often since Fad closed down, so, uh, we're hoping that this tournament can, you know, can, re can replace a little bit of that energy that's left, uh, left blank by, uh, by Fad's kind of te uh, temporary and definite hiatus. But now we got HLB uh, doing the character switch to his main. Oh, and that's that's a dead read. Holy smoke. That was a that was a great spike. And uh, Soko is just he's on another level. That part. Wow. So blue team is just, you know, going to town because of uh, their impeccable movement. Uh, but Looks like he is kind of firing back. He, he seems mad about that stock. I'd be mad too, man. That was that was dirty. Spike down to the depths of Battlefield. Man. Battlefield having a really low stage uh, or blast zone. Uh, you could feel like uh, any character could like just end up so low. Uh, it looked like Ryu could. You know, he came out of his uh, his shield stun. Oh wow, he died again. Wow, that's some great edge guarding. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of happening a little too fast for me to really notice who is uh, who's leading the, the charge, getting all these stocks. But uh, Red Team finds himself with a two stock deficit. Oh, one stock deficit, not too bad. But uh, HOB, I haven't been seeing any rest setups. I've been seeing pure pure Mewtwo plays. Uh, Yoshi just died, so that's good. That helps the Red Team. Uh, now it's even stocks, but you know, who's to say who's gonna win right now? That's HLB stock, and now uh, we're back to a one stock deficit. Red team under, blue team on top. Doing a good focus attack. Uh, Pizza from getting attacked by KY. So, blue team is staying. Uh... Ooh, that was a great shield break. Let's see if we can make that. Ooh, that was amazing. That was a great shield break to forward smash. You don't see shield breaks and doubles uh, often leading to anything because you know we have teammates that can you know hit you out of the stun. But that was actually a really good play by HLB. Uh, it was like a solo play in the middle of all these matches. So um, all right, we go we're back to neutral. It's always interesting seeing when when we go back to neutral. You know, like uh, it's like this moment where everyone just is like able to kind of like think about where they're at. Oh, and we got the first rest of the set. 
Um, I guess KY just got a little bit too too close. And now we're at even stocks, but we have a dead Ryu, and now it's a 2v1. So let's see, we did we saw something like this at Momocon, I think, or Smash and Splash, where uh, a solo a solo pup main made a, a four stock comeback. It was nuts. Ooh, that was a great dodge. Oh, I think he's going for the gimp. He's going for the gimp. Ah, uh, he couldn't get it. That could have changed everything. Because uh, HLB has really good percent. Um, he could just time them out, I guess. Like, in theory, I don't know. Like, how would that work? Wow. Oh, the back air. Is that going to... That, that's it. And HLB is... One step closer to making this his match. Let's see what happens. Uh, HLB doing a great job. Of, ooh. Yeah? All right, cool, yeah. I'm about to commentate with BLJ, the great BLJ. Uh, if you don't know him, he, he landed some combos on... Uh, uh, who was it? Hikaru? Yeah, he, he, uh, he like zero to death Hikaru, and then he got like two stock. Not two stock, but it was like a JV2, just because like Hikaru didn't get touched last stock. And he took two stocks, like immediately. Uh, but other than that, PLJ, great guy. Uh, Mario slash Bayo main plays a bunch of characters. Him and his, he's uh, Soko's brother, the guy uh, who play who's playing um, who's playing Mewtwo. Ooh, and that's gonna be it. KY just showing an overall uh, better command of of the neutral. Uh, he was at the stock deficit. He had the percent lead. I'm up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna go on on uh, on stream. I got a match. I'll be right back.